It's your returning champion. Let's go. Her talking about how to gain weight is like a Catholic priest talking about how to contain yourself around little boys. Dress those fucking gloves. It's Australia, not Antarctica. As a girl, a lot of time you will lose water weight and you'll also lose fat. And if you're on a raw food diet, you've lost your mind. And also, when you decrease the amount of fat in your diet, you lose fat. Reducing the amount of fat you eat does not necessarily make you leaner. Look up the Mountain Dog Diet by John Meadows. John Meadows is ripped and jacked, and he eats tons of fat. This chick's an idiot. Eating away your muscle, okay? If you're continuing to eat enough calories and do resistance training, then you're not going to decrease. You know, your muscles aren't going to atrophy. But Wrong again. Not, yeah, you need to have enough protein. Will, but that's not the diet's fault. So just remember, if you want to get out that stuff, you know, that excess fluid and fat, you're detoxing the toxicity. So and she's bullshitting a bullshitter. Your colon is supposed to have shit in it. And guess what's going to happen? It's going to get shat out eventually. All natural. Do you want to gain fluid or do you want to gain muscle? If you're anything like me, you want... If you're anything like her, you want to gain views by making extraordinary claims without evidence and dancing around pale and flat ass in a bikini on your YouTube channel. In your diet. So decrease the amount of carbohydrates and increase the amount of oil and nuts and avocado. And you will eventually see an increase in the amount of fat. On an increase body. in the omega-3 fatty fat, acids, which is a good thing. Fat. If you want to increase the amount of water weight on your body so you look puffier, then increase the amount of sodium. So she loves carbs so much, but what does every powerlifter do the night before powerlifting meet? Eat carbs so because it induces sodium, water retention. Dumbass. In the form of water weight. So it's going to be kind of, you know, floppy and fluidy. Like the dick of every guy who looks at you, you diet. Nicole Richie stand-in. Like uh, that was a joke, yeah, right? This is Jelena Abu. Weights. She has that muscles, and she shits on size this size bimbo size aesthetically. With it. I gained approximately 3.9 kilos of pure muscle in around five months, and I have interim DEXA scans to prove that. The thing that I was doing in particular was lifting heavy. I wasn't, as, I wasn't afraid to get uncomfortable. I was comfortable with getting uncomfortable. Those gloves so make me uncomfortable. Really, really push it. If you want quality muscle tissue laid down, you can't muck around. You can't be just a little, oh, I don't want to hurt too much. You gotta hurt. You yeah, I've looked at this bitch's other videos, and okay, no, I've no, never seen her lift heavy weights. She's full of shit. The pain. As Arnie says, the last two reps should be like an out-of-body experience. Wow, that was horrible. You are not allowed to utter Arnold Schwarzenegger's name ever again. That's the important thing. I recommend between four to six rep maximum. You know, if you're wanting to get some, you know, quality gains in a short amount of time, four to six reps maximum, no heavier. So yeah, what happened to eight to 12 reps? Is every bodybuilder alive just wrong? Wow, one rep max to build muscle, huh? Nope, you need time under tension to build muscle. And there's almost no tut in a one rep max. Of that weight. So one rep. And when it comes to weights, you gotta be consistent, you gotta be those squats regular, though. But you also need no hips. Rest. That's why she can only go down that far. Yeah, Lane Norton wrote a long time ago about how human growth hormone isn't actually anabolic. Google that shit. It's interesting. Rest is when your muscles are repairing and actually building. So you need to be, you need to have that shut eye so you're getting that maximum recovery. And the next one is calories. You have to get enough calories. Yes, your protein, you do, you actually need more protein when you're doing this intense exercise. But the thing is, when you, you need more of everything, all the nutrients, when you increase the amount of calories in your diet, which you have to when you do this weight training to support muscle growth, then you get more protein by default. So don't right, so if I increase my consumption of bananas, I'll get more protein by rest. default. Got it. Just increase the amount of calories and you will be fine. You will be taking care of your protein needs. And last one really is water. 
you know, 75% or more of your body is made up of water. So you need to keep the water coming in if you want to really have healthy, hydrated muscles. So eight to 12 times peeing clear, making sure you're drinking enough water to pee clear every day. So they're the thing. So we've got heavy weights, you know, fatiguing at quite heavy weight, like low reps, heavy weights. Maxing out, because that builds muscle. Every single day, being consistent, getting enough sleep, getting to bed on time, drinking enough water, and enjoy your routine. Okay, like you can take those Mickey Mouse gloves off now. Because muscle building takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to work for it, and you have to work hard. So just prepare yourself for that. But it is worth it. It's an awesome feeling to have this extra muscle in your body, this metabolically active How would you know? which burns fat all day long, even, though, even when you're sleeping. So it's pretty awesome. And so that's my message for today. And that was Exercises in Futility. Kind of a serious debunking episode, but it'll get more lighthearted in subsequent episodes. Bye.